Hey everyone, before we start today's video, I just want to let you in on something that I'm going to be doing over on Twitch. Starting October 18th, I will be doing a horror streaming event called the 13 Days of Halloween. Up until Halloween, I will be streaming horror titles such as Dead by Daylight, Alien Isolation, and Outlast. So if you're interested in seeing some of those streams, I suggest you head over to my Twitch.tv, which is Excalibur Games, one word, and you'll be able to see some of those streams will be taking place around 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time sharp. And that's all I have for you right now. Thank you, and enjoy today's video. Netflix has done something that is just unfathomable. I can't wrap my mind around it at all what Netflix did. We could talk about how Netflix literally basically for a lot of its, you know, original projects just doesn't have a budget control. And because they don't have a budget control, they bleed money with a lot of projects. I know this because I, when I was in LA interning with the company, I had other people I went to school with intern with companies that worked on Netflix shows. And it was very clear that Netflix was not doing good budget control. And if they continue to do this, Netflix will not be sustainable. And at some point, it will collapse. But on top of all of that, of all of those things, I think what just dumbfounds me the most about Netflix is what they recently did with the um, pretty popular show, Away. Away stars Hilary Swank. It's basically about, uh, I think the year is like, 2024 or something and they're doing a manned mission to Mars. It's about the first manned mission to Mars by humanity is basically what the show is about. Other space movies we've seen like Apollo 13 and The Martian focus a bit more on the physical challenges that take to putting astronauts on the moon or Mars. Uh, but what's kind of special about Away is that it focuses more on the mental challenges that astronauts face going to Mars. Think about it, it's months long of a journey that you're spending away from your family, you're spending away from your friends, you're not on Earth, you're in the basically vacuum of space looking out into the vast unknown. Uh, it's scary, it's some scary stuff. In a way, it dives into you know the mental challenges of being away from your family, uh, having your family be mad at you because you're constantly away from them. I love you, and I'm so scared that you're leaving me. But I'm also mad. Why did you have to do this? Why couldn't you just be my mom? Your family feeling abandoned. Uh, the astronauts, you know, dealing with uh, their bodies, kind of trying to keep up with their bodies. Oh, I think God's name is happening to me. I mean, this was once a part of me and now it's not. Getting the proper nutrition, things going wrong in the ship. Misha and Lou knew only a lot of water. Okay would put it out. Steady. Steady. And they're all right. Okay, steady. Steady. Uh, kind of like mental stubbornness where like an astronaut knows they're not good enough to do a certain job on the ship, but they try and push themselves. You can't see a thing. What? A screw just flew right by you. How many the... fingers? I... What? Am I holding? How many fingers? <laughs> The mistakes that astronauts make due to like, you know, mental errors as well as physical errors. There's a lot of interesting stuff to unpack from away. It's one of my favorite shows in 2020. I personally am like an absolute space geek. Uh, astronomy has just been like a very big passion of mine over the past year. I don't know where it came from, but I don't know. This show is probably one of, I don't know how realistic it is, but it's one of the best kind of dramas that I've seen uh, from like a cosmic, you know, space show. Despite, you know, all the freaking crying that happens in the show, it's really good. Oh my God, no, is she crying again? She's crying, all they do is cry. Can we have one happy moment in the show? Come on. So why in the world would Netflix not pick up a season two of the show? It makes absolutely no sense. I, I saw the articles, I couldn't believe it. This show was in Netflix's top 10 for a pretty good while. It's not like people weren't watching away, you know? And yet they go on and say, oh, you know, compared to how much we had to spend on it to viewership, it's not worth it. This is the show you're gonna cut? Really? That's the show you're gonna cut? 
never mind all the other projects on Netflix that are subpar and are getting funding. No, let's keep those. Let's cut this one that's actually good with actual freaking talent, Hillary Swank. What are you thinking, Netflix? And what pisses me off even more is there is another space show on Netflix. There's another space show on Netflix. It's called Another Life. And it's absolutely terrible. And guess what? Another Life got a second season. That show gets a second season and away gets canceled? What? I'm just, I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my freaking mind. I don't understand the mental decisions that go into this. And Another Life, Another Life, that show never even came close to the top 10 watched. And there's a ton of CGI in that show. They're in space, they're flying around stars, they're going through, you know, freaking dark matter, they're passing by black holes, they're like 50 feet from a black hole and they're passing by it, which is not how a black hole works. You get sucked into the freaking event horizon, you know. That show has absolutely no, absolutely no realism to how space actually works, at least the way, kind of realistic. Like, they talk about how fire on a spaceship is every astronaut's worst enemy. You know, there, there's certain things in a way that make you think like, okay, yeah, this is actually realistic. Okay, I could see how this could happen. Another life just blows it all out the freaking window. All out the freaking window. It's, you know, way set in the future. The characters suck. The characters are so unlikable in this show. The astronauts are a bunch of like teenage out of college brats in their early 20s with no, and with no space experience at all. They all have like attitudes. They don't respect their captain. It, it's just, it's a train wreck of a show. And that show gets a season two. That show gets a season two, and you cancel away. You can a good show. You know, they, they had just landed on Mars in the season finale, and, and now we don't even get to see the, the result of that. We don't get to see, you know, what they discover on Mars in this alternate universe. Netflix is just shooting itself in the dick this year. It really is just not making good decisions. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know what... Netflix has to figure out. I don't know what it is, but they got to do something different because I swear to God, the, the path they're heading down with the amount of money they're spending, all these original productions they're doing. Think about it. Netflix, uh, no matter how many people subscribe to Netflix, there's no way they could get a profit return on some of these things because think about it. The, their stuff doesn't really run through theaters. Netflix productions doesn't go through theaters. They don't make a box office revenue. The revenue they make is through subscriptions and maybe investors in the projects. They might make money on that, but the profit is coming in subscriptions. It's not like a, it's not like a movie hits the box office, they sell merchandise and stuff like that. No, Netflix is not sustainable in the way it's going right now. Eventually, their, their debt is gonna pile up and pile up and the returns they're making on their original productions aren't going to be able to cover, you know, how much they're spending on these things. And I understand why they maybe canceled season two of Away. It probably is taking quite a bit of money to um, have this Netflix show you know, be aired, you know, to produce every single season. I'm sure it does take a considerable budget. But, don't cancel a show that's hit your top 10, that's actually good, that actually has potential, and then keep a show that is the pinnacle of dog shit and just is an absolute disgrace to any astronomers, to astronauts, to NASA, to any freaking space engineers, to just, to just the universe in general. It doesn't adhere to any physics of our universe. Another Life is terrible, and it's getting a second season while they can away. These decisions don't make sense. I agree that Netflix should be cutting down on its projects. It should be doing better budget control, especially now with COVID. You know, the coronavirus pandemic, freaking sets and productions are still trying to figure out how to get, you know, protocols in place to get productions going again and to, to safely do productions. So the move makes sense. I just don't understand why they chose this show that was very successful. And right now, it doesn't look like we're going to see another season two of Away unless a TV network picks it up or Netflix backpedals on their decision. Maybe, maybe if enough of us viewers make a case for Away, it will come back. If you're a fan of Away, let them know they need to bring the show back. This show is it's, it's a good show with actual potential to be interesting, to have a good second season, 
Another Life, I don't really care about the second season of that show. I don't even, it's not even worth making a review of. It's not even funny bad. It's just like, I tried to watch it again to be like, oh, it's so funny how bad this show is. The show sucks, okay? That's it, that is my rant on Netflix's decision to can the show away and get rid of its second season. I really hope that they reverse this decision. Maybe after the pandemic, they'll bring it back when they can have, you know, their productions start getting up again. It's easier to do productions again. Maybe we'll see a way be produced. I don't know. I hope it comes back. I hope they can actually, you know, make better decisions of which shows to back in the future. Um, if you want a way to stay, if you want them to reverse their decision, make your voice heard, I guess, like I'm doing like myself. Yeah. That's all I got for today. Had to talk about this. I'm a movie channel. So yeah. Thanks for watching. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.